Hey guys, what's up? My name is Christine. I am a current first year at UC Davis, and this video is about leaving home for the first time. So I think something that's super important is uh, establishing yourself independent of your parents. Like a lot of time in when you live at home, your parents are going to be introducing you to people and like talking about you and they have a lot of pride for who you are as a person. So when they introduce you to people, people already have this image of you of what you're going to be like and they already have all these good things that they've heard about you from your parents. But when you go to college, you're going to be this whole new person and nobody's going to know you. So you have to prove to people who you are. If you think that you're a kind or caring person, like you have to prove that to people. You can't just say I'm a kind person. You have to show through your actions that you are a kind person. And people are going to like you more for that. Everything is about your actions and how you're going to treat other people, how you're going to do in school. Like your professors, they're new. Like they don't know who you are. They're not the people that you had in high school for your classes. So you have to show them. what. A hard-working person you are. Another thing that's super important is if you don't want to rely on your parents for money or continue asking them for money all the time, you're going to have to get a job. I work a part-time job right now. It's not completely part-time. I work at a church and I watch kids. It works really well with my schedule. I kind of get to decide when I'm gonna work, but I don't make as much money as I'd like because I don't work as often. So if you want to actually continue making money in college, you have to get an actual part-time job and it's gonna take up a lot of your time. But what I've heard is that it's best to wait until you adjust to college and then get a job. I think that's probably the best way once you get settled in and with friends and you have a better like atmosphere around you, just moving in and everything, then it's probably best at that point then you can get a job. And if your parents are willing to support you before that, then obviously it's not gonna be that bad without a job. All right, third thing, you have to ask for help. In college, you have to ask people for help. Your professors, your TAs, you have to go to office hours. If you aren't understanding something and you aren't figuring it out on your own, if you're not taking the extra step, or extra mile to figure out stuff, you're not gonna get good grades. College is hard, but your classes are going to be difficult, much more difficult than high school. At any college, they're going to be pretty tough. And your professors are not gonna boost your grade at the end of the quarter or semester if they don't know who you are. They have no idea what your work ethic is. Do you deserve that grade boost? You have to go get to know your professors. So another thing that you're going to have to deal with, depending on where you go to college, if you go close by home, it, this may not be a, as big of an issue, but you're probably going to get homesick. Anytime you go to college, you're gonna be leaving your family behind. At least if you're living in the dorms, you're gonna be living in a new environment. You have a roommate now that you may, may or may not know, and you have to get along with new people and it's gonna be rough for a while. You have to adjust to not having your parents around constantly and supporting you. Not everyone in college is gonna support you. So you have to make sure that you have a good support system as soon as you get there. So find friends that you know are good people and that are going to support you through no matter what. There are still going to be times where you're, you miss your parents or you miss your hometown or you miss your friends from home. And that's okay, you can FaceTime, you can text them. It's really a, just a matter of effort. I talk to my parents almost every day now. I FaceTime them constantly. There was a day a couple weeks ago where I FaceTimed them like five times in one day because I was just so upset about different things. I was taking a really hard class and I just needed to talk to them about it. And sometimes you can talk to your roommate about it if you guys are close, but it's not always gonna be the same as the people that raised you for 18 years. Prepare yourself for that because you have to have a, some sort of support and if your parents aren't close by, mine are eight hours away from here, so it's been <laughs> a lot more difficult, but it's also a way to gain independence and become your own person and kind of realize who you are because you're going out into the world and you're seeing what your opinions are. And maybe those differ from your parents, maybe they're similar, but at home, you're sur kind of surrounded by it all the time. So you may not have the opportunity to grow and become the person that you are, but in college, you're definitely gonna have that opportunity. So you have to take it when it comes. But as I said, you are most likely going to miss your parents either way. So make sure that you keep calling them and talking to them, especially if you're going through a rough patch, because if you just go through it by yourself, you're not gonna be having a good time at college. So the five most important things to remember when you're leaving home for the first time. Number one, you need to start saving money because apartments are really expensive. I'm only a first year, but next year I know where I'm living and I know how much it's gonna cost. 
you have to start saving money immediately because if you're going to be able to afford off-campus living, if you're going to be able to afford on-campus living, you have to have money stored away. It really helps your parents if they're paying for you and if they're not, you really have to start saving, saving money because if your parents aren't paying for your housing, that's your whole living situation on the line. But even if they are going to help you, you want to help your parents out and not make them pay for everything. So start saving money. That's a really good one. Number two, Make sure that you communicate your, with your parents about your plans for college. You have to let them know what your ideas are of what you want to do, where you want to go, because they're going to be paying for your education and you have to know what they can afford to do. Out of state of tuition is extremely expensive. Luckily for me, I communicated with my parents. We knew what we could afford. We knew what benefits we could get. So just make sure that you tell your parents where you're thinking about going. And like my parents wanted me to go close because they were going to miss me, but I knew that I needed to kind of get out and find who I am as a person. I'm still doing that, like everyone is. <laughs> if you don't communicate with them, they're gonna be very worried about you. Like they want the best for you and you have to, have to figure that out for yourself too. Number three, make sure you get involved in school at extracurriculars, at a part-time job, because otherwise you're gonna have a lot of downtime and it's a lot of time to overthink, especially when you're away from home, away from your parents, away from your old friends. But you gotta keep yourself busy and you're gonna make more friends that way. You're gonna find more people with common interests as you and that's really who you're gonna value as a friend. Number four, remember to call your parents and not just for money, don't just call them asking for them to put money in your bank account. Have genuine conversations with them because I guarantee they're are going to miss you so much. You're gonna miss your parents too. You're gonna to wanna to talk to them about what happened in your day. Just make sure that you call them because they'll appreciate it a lot. And call like your grandparents too. Just call your family and catch up with them whenever you have the time because they'll really appreciate it. And finally, remember to ask for help from family and friends when you need it. If you are upset about something, talk to a friend about it. Talk to a family member. Talk to your friends at college if you feel close enough with them because you can't go through everything alone all the struggles that you're gonna have in college. Um, I mean, this is just my first year and already I've had so many supportive friends that have helped me through things and I definitely would have, wouldn't have made it through it without them. And there's so many people that drop out in their first year because they're struggling so much, but you have to focus on why you came to college, what it is you wanna get out of it, and how you can do that with the most positive energy possible, even if you're struggling. Can You cannot hold that up by yourself. Only your family and your friends are gonna be able to help you with that. So you really have to rely on them. And remember, that's a good reason to call your parents as well. Yeah, so that's all for this video. Again, I'm Christine. I'm a UC Davis student. If you have any suggestions, if anyone wants to know anything about more about Davis or about anything about leaving home, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make another video about that in the future. Okay, bye. Subscribe to College Express.